Hey, welcome back. In this video, I just want to show you where you can find Strange Diamonds, all possible spawn locations in Slime Ranch 2 right now. And I will also show you my favorite farming route in Star Strand to get a lot of Strange Diamonds as quickly as possible. However, I do have to mention, using that farming route, I have gotten as just one, for example, but I've also gotten as many as like four Strange Diamonds in one run. So we never know which one are up or just how many are up, but even then, it's still a pretty good run in my opinion. So at this point in time, we actually have an opportunity in each area to actually find some strange diamonds. Even in Rainbow Fields, but actually Rainbow Fields and Amber Valley actually have the least uh, respawn points of all in Simon's 2. But even then, in Rainbow Fields, you can actually find some strange diamonds behind the Phosphor Gordo. You can also find them in the cave if both cover across the tide pools area. So that's going to be one, the one in the south or the one over here in the north. Or, of course, this tunnel over here between the um, refinery link that Monomi Park placed there for us to the teleporter to the Star Strand. There is also the tunnel right over here where you can actually find the treasure pot, so under this little bridge area. And, of course, there's also going to be the one in that little cave, so that's going to be right over here. Now, the best chance that you're going to have to actually find a few strange diamonds in Ember Valley is, of course, going to be in the cave where you can find the Rock Gordo, the cave where you can actually find the Baddie Gordo, and then, of course, over here, you actually have this these few puddle slimes that are pretty high up. And you can actually reach them by going through a little cave area. And there you can also find a strange diamond, for example. I actually already find a few in there. And so that is a pretty good spot to actually check. And then, of course, you have these rocks over here in this lower part, uh, right north of the Rock Gordo Cave. That is kind of completely weird. So strange diamonds basically always spawn in caves or tunnels. And basically this is the only open area where you can actually find some rare diamonds so far. Beside that, you also have the opportunity to actually find a few, for example, where the treasure pots are located over here. So south of the Crystal Gordo and north of the central area. And of course, over here, you actually also have a tunnel to use that geyser to get up to the Tabby Gordo. So that's going to be right over here. Now, while all those locations are valid, by far you have the most potential respawn points for Strange Diamonds in Starlight Strand. I believe like half of them are just in this area. So for that reason, I'm just going to show you my farming route. So the run that I always take is just going to start over here at the teleporter. We're just going to run completely forward to this big central area over here where you actually have, you know, a lot of cotton slimes. And we're right over here. Now you will want to actually also check out my guide for all these potential slime statues and gates. I will leave a link to that in the description down below and I will link to it at the end of the video for the very simple reason is a lot of these you know, areas that we need for strange diamonds are locked behind these slime gates. But either way, we're just going to go through here. So the entrance was going to be right over here. So you actually have some Radiant Ore over here. Radiant Ore actually also shares a lot of respawn nodes with um, Strange Diamonds. So whenever you see a Radiant Ore actually inside of a cave, there's actually the possibility that there is also going to be a Strange Diamond there in the future. Once we are in this big central area, we are basically in the middle of a lot of opportunities to find some Strange Diamonds because we actually over here have the Honey Gordo. We over here actually have under the split tree right over here we actually have uh, a large cave and of course we have one cave right over here behind this waterfall so we're going to do that one first so you just go through here you're going to find an angler statue just drop a plot in there and here you can also find a lot of um, strange diamonds or at least often you can find one over here i actually already found like two of them over here in like the two, my two last ones and there is a tunnel over here to the right so that you can also just check out. Though I haven't seen one spawn in here just yet. I'm The ones that I actually found were just kind of sticking out over here and on this little platform. But be sure to also check out the ground floor if you know what I mean. Once you are actually done, then you can actually just exit through here just to gain a little bit of time. So once you are over here, you're going to find a slime statue for the flutter slime. Just drop a port in there and this gate is going to be open. And then we are just going to hover on top of here. And then we're going to head into our next tunnel. So at this point over here, there's going to be the entrance of this slime gate. If you actually opened it because the um, statue is on the inside. Now I actually also found a strange diamond already over here. And then you can actually just get up here and then you are where the hunt honey gorda used to be. So back in the central area. Now, if you actually want to be really thorough, but I really don't advise this, you can actually just from this tunnel over here. So over here on the map, but you can't really see it. And if you actually look down, there is this little area over here. 
there is also the opportunity to find a strange diamond right over here. So I actually found a strange diamond in the past right over here. And but as you can see, that isn't up because there is a radiant orange silky sand over here. But the problem why I don't really like visiting this area is because it's really hard to leave. So once you are here, the only way that I actually found to leave is just to you know, hover out on top of this little platform on this side over here. And then we can actually just hover on top of that redstone over here. And then we can just hover to the mainland and be careful for the tar, of course. But let's just go back to that central area where we were earlier. Okay, so I'm back over here next to these potential entrances. Next up, we're going to go climb this um, cave over here towards the split tree. So be careful for the feral slimes over here if they show up, which they don't apparently. And then once we are actually up here next to the split tree, let me show you on the map right over here. You just want to go to his roots and at the center you're going to find the treasure pot obviously but also you can just jump down here so try to jump on top of a platform and over here you are in a one big cave so just go through here there is of course also a treasure pot over here but often you can also find some strange diamonds over here there are a few tunnels and first look up here and then you actually want to jump down and just check once again. Now I actually found one strange diamond on the floor over here, I believe, in the past. Once you are done looking in this cave, you can actually just exit and you're going to take the exit that's the furthest away from the water source. There's a water source right over here. You want to take the exit that's the furthest away. So just up here. And then we are going to back open here in the open air. And then we just want to jump down and then we want to come towards one of my favorite caves because I have already found quite a few strange diamonds in here and that's going to be right here. So normally you would find the hunter Gordo right over here. So just pop him and then you can go through this area. And over here I actually have already found a few strange diamonds in the past. So there's already radiant ore over here. Let's see what else we can find. Nothing so far. Now, if this slime gate is closed, you actually need to enter from the other side that you're going to see in a second. And then you will actually need to drop a hunter plot in there. Once you're here, there are also a few opportunities to find some strange diamonds. Always be sure also to listen because ore makes a sound. There, I actually have already found some strange diamonds over here on this pillar. So, you know, kind of here on the map, but it's kind of hard to show. And... A, pot, a spot that you should always check and it kind of worked once again over here and it's going to be right over here. So as you can see, one strange diamond already and we aren't done just yet. So whenever you actually enter this cave, always come check out this back area, this collapsed tunnel or something. And I often find a strange diamond over here. Then let's just exit once again. I'm going to show you the entrance from this cave from the other side. So if you actually want to know how to get in this cave from the other side, so basically over here you actually have this rock, st uh, rock statue that you can shoot a plort in, and you can actually find this entrance over here from this sandy beach area. Let me just use this geyser and show you where it completely is. So over here we actually have the mushroom forest, and over there you actually have like this coral crusted tide pools area. Just jump down and head in that direction, and then you're going to find that gate that I just went through. And once here, we're actually going in basically in the home stretch. And now you just want to follow this route towards the Flutter Gordo that's going to be up there. Now for this, you will actually have to pop him. You can actually get a lot of moon dew and nectar over in this area um, just during the night. I almost fell off. That is nice. So right over here, either you can find the Flutter Gordo. So let's just wait for a little bit of energy and then let's just get up there. So for this, you actually need to pop him because he will actually be sitting on top of this hole. And then we're just going to jump down. Immediately try to fall on one of these heights and just immediately start looking around. Because there are a lot of hidden aura possibilities right over here. So let's just see. None so far. There are always ores around here, I promise you. So there's radiant ore over there. But no strange diamonds today. I'm unlucky for some reason, probably because I'm recording. Now, in this spot, I actually found uh, strange diamonds in the weirdest location. So, for example, up here, up here above that treasure pot, 
uh, right over here, right beside this uh, pillar, there are some really strange spots and really easily skipped. So for that reason, you just be sure to really check around and be sure to also listen. And if you actually want to leave this cave, I will just show you how to do that because a lot of people end up being stuck in here. So we're just going to get up here. So yeah, it's hard to show on a map. But once you're a little bit higher, like I am right now, you're going to see over here this torch. So this lit area, you're just going to jump over here. And if you haven't been uh, inside of here yet before, you can actually find an orb over here. Just click on that. And over here, you're going to actually see a gate open up. And then you can actually just go through here and then over here. So once out of that, that trap, we are going to find ourselves over here. So back out. And then I will show you the last spot where you can actually find some strange diamonds. And I actually also have been quite lucky so far in the past. And that's going to be basically where the angler Gordo is. So just head towards the ringtail Gordo. So let me just show you on a map where we are. So right over here. We're going to pass the ringtail Gordo or the teleport if you actually already popped him. And then when we are in this area, I just want you to jump down this hole. Now there's going to be an angler Gordo if you haven't popped him just yet, or a geyser if you have. And just take a look around here. I actually already also found a few strange diamonds in here. But once again, I'm recording, so probably I'm not going to get that lucky. Also a lot of silky sand, as you can see. So this run, I only got one strange diamond. In the past, I've gotten as many as four. It's still a game of luck after all. But those were the locations of all respawn points for strange diamonds so just be sure to just pass all of them and you're gonna find some strange diamonds in no time next up you may want to check out this video out right here where i explain why i placed all my refinery links for very simple reasons but don't click on just yet be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on everything slime and related thanks for watching and i'll see you over there